All right, friends, if this right here has happened to you, where your slice valve comes apart, we offer kits in our store. And the kit will consist of the slice valve, the heater union, you glue those two together. And then you can also do this where you glue the old to new and also we have 45. So we have these kits, which is a coupler and a, and a uh, piece of flex. We have this and we also have the 45s that glue in. So stay tuned, I'm gonna change this one out right here. I'll show you how I do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and glue all this stuff together. So simply this union slips, that slips inside of it, that glues, and then the 45 will glue here. So I'm gonna make my glue fittings right here real quick. So you put it on there and give it a nice spin. Spread that glue out until it stops. And you can see that there's it's up like that, and then there's a little bit of an angle back on the 45 like that. So I'm going to glue that into place. And another thing that you can do, a little helpful tip, is you can actually mark it. So what I do sometimes is get my marks like that, and then I can glue it and slip them together. like that right there. So now I'm gonna cut this part out over here. So what I'm gonna do is get back here, and I've got this kind of cutter. Of course, you can use a lot of different stuff. This one's getting old. But I have a little bit of flexibility with my, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two pieces together. Get this, get this happening. So I'm gonna glue my coupler to my soft pipe. And we offer this soft pipe and coupler in a six inch piece. Now this piece is a little bit shorter. I didn't need quite as much, so you can just trim it off as needed. And the reason I'm not gonna glue these two together yet is I need to spin. Anytime you're gluing new to old, you clean it up, you purple prime it, and you put it on there and you spin it till it stops. If you don't, it will drip. So that's the reason I do that. So I've got this prepared. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look in here. I'm gonna try to line this up and figure out the best spot to cut my soft pipe at. So I know, cut the old stuff, so I know about where I need to be. And you've got a little bit of flexibility here, but you don't wanna get it. Uh, some tubs are not very forgiving as far as where you cut at has got to be on the money. And of course, I'm going to lose some water when I do this. There's some water in this pipe backed up even though the tub is empty. So now I'm going to Break this union loose. Break the old stuff out. So there's the old slice. And what happened was this thing pulled out and the, that stayed closed right there. And when that stays closed, of course the pump can't move any water because it's closed. So there you go, friends, that's, that's what happened. So now I'm gonna clean this pipe up. Make sure it's nice and dry. I'm gonna prop it up so it doesn't get water back on it. Of course, this my Christie's Red Hot Blue Glue is the best in the industry. It's what we use exclusively in our service department. So when you're gluing new to old, I always purple prime it. Some people, you could purple prime all of it if you want to, new to new, old, new to old, but I don't normally purple prime new to new. But there's people that would argue that you should. So we're gonna let it dry, let it get tacky. It'll take just a little bit. 
and I'm gonna glue this on, spin it till it stops, and then I can glue my other piece on, hook it back, and we're back in business. Just that simple. So now I'm going to put it on here and I'm going to spin it to win it. I'm going to turn it till it stops and it stopped pretty quick. That means it's a good, a nice uh, glue joint right there. If you don't spin it to win it, it will drip. And we don't want it to drip, friends. So we'll put my gasket on. Make sure your gasket's in the groove and lined up nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I use oil filter pliers. Tighten it, open my slice, put the keeper in place. If you don't put this keeper in place, this thing can vibrate closed and create a flow code. So there you go, friends. I replaced this part right here that was messed up where that pulled out and that stayed closed. Another completed repair. I don't know much, but I do know hot tubs. I'm the spa guy. For parts like this right here, click on the banner above this video and it'll take you straight to my website. We have parts there. Yes, we do. Bye today.